Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, episode 16 of my Legendary Difficulty Let's Play. Things are going extremely well, but I know I'm going to be transitioning into bigger, more expensive to make games soon. So I'm just trying to keep putting money in the bank, just trying to build up the bank, just so I don't fail at any point. But I mean, it's going pretty well. Last game I released was 96% review score, so we are going to put out an add-on for that right away. Just to keep that going really strong. So Horror Wizards 4. Um, robes of fire. Like the wizard's robes. Or uh, they're on fire. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I am not the best coming up with clever names. I will freely admit that. But yeah, probably going to do a B plus size game today. Just to see if I can make it profitable. I'm curious. Um, I want to see how much it costs too. Right? But we did kind of go all out with Horror Wizards 4 here, making it really good. And it was good. So it, that was a good experiment, too. I'm thinking maybe an extra arcade cabinet or two might be good. Let's just get the bugs out of this. And we release for the press for this. Where are you at? Robes of Fire right there. So we're going to have to wait. Yeah, I need bigger marketing team. Ooh, 80 to 100. I mean... The game it was based off was 96%, so that makes sense. But we need to get this pre-release. Okay, Cards vs. Bicycle off the market, but it was profitable. It's been a long time since I had a game that wasn't profitable, right? I feel like quite some time. All right, uh, it was successful, so we can release this. And Horror Wizard Sport is selling well as predicted. Not as well as Alien Slaughterhouse, though. But this add-on should help. Especially considering how good it is. And hey, we got an extra star in multiple engine features. We will call that a big win. Big, big win. So I just want to kind of watch my arcade cabinet people here. I guess I could just add more people. You know what? I feel like I need another cleaning robot. I feel like there's messes pretty consistently. <laughs> Um, put you right there. Sure. Um, so, yeah, I feel like I would probably want to make this room a little bigger, add a few technicians uh, before going, getting any more arcade cabinets on the go. Actually, let's move all this stuff. That... Pictures on the walls. Okay. Now we can put some new desks down, right? Uh, workshop. I was looking for the word arcade, but the word arcade is not actually <laughs> in the title, in the name of the room. It's just a workshop. All right. So that's four extra desks. That's good, I think. Um, what is out there for technicians right now? Uh, there's six on the market, so surely we can find a couple that are good. You don't mind if you're cold, but you're nice and cheap. You don't, you don't go to the bathroom. You don't go to the bathroom. Yeah, there's four people all around 2K a piece. That's pretty good. So let's port. I think I'm going to port Cyclomania 2 because Cyclomania 1, I ported to Arcade as well. And I just feel like, I don't know, just makes sense to, to port another one of the same franchise. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. It's definitely possible. So we'll call this Cyclomania 2 Arcade. And, oh wait, isn't there a new, wait, I thought there was a new Arcade platform chip. Or maybe there was just one announced. Um, I think this engine is my engine with, yeah, all the new features, okay. So this will be up to four stars in those. Um, those sliders look good, I think. I mean, I can move these. No, let's leave them there. I think they're good there. Um, we'll turn on everything that we can. Obviously, no keyboard support, no controller support for an arcade cabinet, right? And this is relatively cheap to make, but we still got to do stuff with our support rooms here. And that's not that expensive there either. Graphics and sound are pretty important for racing games. Um, so I'm actually going to do a couple game reports here. I am I am slowly catching up on the game reports, though, which is nice. Um, is there any research we can do other than just topics? 
Um, let's just grab. Did I grab singing yet? Since it's a trend, I think I did. I think I already did, right? Um, so let's grab space station. Sure. They're working on contracts. Like Mini 2 Arcade, lost some gameplay points as one of my level designers has accidentally overwritten a level that had already been completed. The level must now be recreated, which sucks, but it, like these random events are kind of funny. Basically, it looks at how many points you have in a category and based off what you have, it gives like a percentage of that or takes it away. So getting negative events early doesn't really matter, right? But positive events also doesn't really matter, whereas late in development getting a negative event really hurts but getting a positive event would really help but yeah anyway all right um we need continue development we need to bug fix and probably do a little little gameplay improvement not a lot just a little um and we can do a pre-release for the press wait no so we need to arcade there you go Luch. oh we got save games nice the video game world has changed, folks. We got save game capability. Oh, this room. I need to make this room bigger. That's on me. That's my bad. I should have noticed that. Um, Only 60 to 80. All right. I'm going to actually um, add a little more graphic stuff. Graphics is very important for racing games. Did I do this more sound as well? No, just graphics would be good. I think this will help, though. All right, so that's done. Yep, 70 to 90. Did help. All right, so self-distribution. Um, I'm just going to go... See, I'm just going to go with that. But it, yeah, yeah. And, yep, okay. Got better with the engines, which is what we were hoping for. 84%, that's fine. All right, so... I need to either get rid of a person or make this room a little bigger. So let's just make this room a little bigger. There. I'm not actually going to put any desks out there, but it's just to just so that they're not crowded anymore. They're not they're not feeling cramped in there, right? Which is very important. All right. So now let's see. Well, we're going to wait for save game. Well, no, I guess we can add save games after the fact, right? So let's get through a couple more game reports here. And what kind of game do we want to make? So we just did a puzzle. We just did a racing. We don't want to hit racing again yet, even though it's a trend. Um, action is popular and unsaturated. I have done an action game recently, but not that recently. Right? I want to say Elite Slaughterhouse. I don't really want to chew into its market share. No, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do an action game. But... Alien Slaughterhouse is uh, action in what? Uh, it doesn't tell me there. Own games, reviews, Alien Slaughterhouse. It is an action RPG. So um, I can do sequel. Is that my first action game? No, I done Flight of the Puzzler. Right. So let's yeah, let's do Flight of the Puzzler. Um. Sequel or wait, is that still on the market? It is. And yeah, <laughs> God, I just have so many of these games, right? It's I make games so quick. I have so many on the market. Um, so that's an action skill game. So we have an action RPG already. We have an action skill already. We could do an action adventure. Action and adventure work together. So we're doing a new IP here. So action, adventure, new combo, which I believe gets me extra, you know, a little boost to the review score. Um, so an action adventure game. Let's get some decent. Um, so if we have some stars in, it doesn't need to be full stars. But we could do... An action adventure. I'm just trying to think what works. Like Stone Age in ancient China, kind of work, I guess. And we will call this um, God. I don't know. 
Um, ah! <laughs> Let's hit random a few times. Clock and Spiel Hero? No. Wii Sports? No. Assassins? Just Assassins? <laughs> no follow up? Noisy Hill? Cardboard Marlow? <laughs> As opposed to Paper Mario? Uh, mix Effect? Sim Sewer? That's a new one. Iron Gear Solid? The Lazy Dead? All right, I'm just going to go Three Kingdoms Quest, we're going to call it. I know, so like, Three Kingdoms is ancient China. It's not Stone Age, but it's fine. And I don't have a license. Oh, I do have a license for action. So let's use that. I don't have an engine for action, and that's fine. We're going to go multi-platform, of course. Go with the usual suspects. I don't think... No, there's not really anything better out there. Technically, we could get a couple extra people if we did the Rodovan. But, yeah. We don't. We have no experience in the Rodovan. I don't want to learn it now. It's We're past the point of it making sense to learn the Rodovan. All right, so action and adventure. 4264. And 6594. A lot of level design here. That makes sense, though. And five, six, eight. And then for action, it's 10, 40, 30, 20. Yeah, I think that tracks. These sliders should be good for that. They're not everything that matters. 10 out of 10. Here's the thing, though. I am not going to be able to add save games because we're at 10 out of 10. So I can either cut something out now or I can make it a B-plus size game. B plus, it's an extra three hundred thousand. Let's try it. I want to see. I want to see if it if it makes money. Right, it'll be a good test. So whenever save games research gets done, we can add it. I just need to remember to do that. The thing is, not only is an extra three hundred thousand cost there, but these things are more expensive as well. Right, like quite a bit more expensive. So yeah, this game's going to be expensive to make, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, save games is done. So let's add that. And anything else we can research, really? Not really. Ancient Egypt, to go with ancient China. We can do China versus Egypt. Um, yeah, I just want to get a couple of these game reports done. Trying to do at least two between games. And I know I'm not, I haven't been very diligent. I've not been diligent with that. And that's okay. All right, so we'll throw some gameplay stuff in there. Let's get the pre-release for the press going. Three Kingdoms Quest. Okay. Should be fine. 70 to 90, so that's good. It's at least a decent game. And that's with a bunch of bugs, right? Once those bugs are gone, I'm... I wouldn't be surprised to see it be 80 to 100. All right, so my... So my... Um, oh, we got platforming to research. And split three multiplayer. My arcade workshop does seem to be keeping up fairly well. The demand for Cyclomania 2 Arcade. And let's just scroll all the way up here. So my original two arcade ports, um, they are both profitable. Cyclomania Arcade is way more profitable than Alien Invasion 2. That's just kind of expected. So let's add split screen or do the split screen multiplayer. And we're going to add it to this game as well. Right? I mean, if we're going B, we want to jam as many features in as we can. Right? So. Oh, never mind. Split screen multiplayer isn't good for this type. So I could, but it adds basically nothing and it costs an extra $10,000. Unfortunate. All right. So 70 to 90. Hopefully it's like 85% plus. Um, but yeah, there's, there was a few things we didn't, we weren't max stars in, but we're maxed out in the engine stuff now, which is nice. That's very nice. Oh, 91%. There you go. Okay. <laughs> How is it going to sell though? How much did it cost to make? Actually, that wasn't that much. I mean, eight hundred eighty-two thousand. Don't get me wrong; that's the most expensive game. But Horror Wizards Four costs six hundred and some thousand, and it's already profitable. So I'm thinking 
I'm going to be okay, probably. All right, let's do a free update for Cyclomania 2 Arcade. Since we can't do paid add-ons for that, I want to do a free update just so that, you know, it has it has an update. Um, and they're still just working on commission work, but they're they're creeping up my reputation. Like, if I need to do contract games, if I need commission work at some point because my bank account is getting low, I'll have the option, right, which is nice. All right, so they're just going to do some commission work as well. Um, let's throw out a demo for Three Kingdoms Quest. And probably a couple more demos as well here. Probably have quite a few games that need demos. Oh, what? Alien Invasion 2? Isn't that my arcade game? How do you do a demo for an arcade game? <laughs> um, all right, so sales for Three Kingdoms Quest are kind of mediocre. Um, a paid add-on for this. All right, so the paid add-on is also more expensive for the B-plus size game, right? Which I figured it would be. Um, do we want to do this? Do we even... Is this even a good idea? Yeah, let's do it. I had to think about it, but... All right, so Three Kingdoms Quest, um, Swords of Destiny, we'll call it. That sounds like something. I'm sure I've ripped that off something. <laughs> I'm sure my subconscious pulled that name from somewhere. <laughs> um, and that's fine. Polish. You guys can polish. I'll let them get through those um, game reports. And what are we looking at here? Three Critics Quest, Swords of Destiny. It's actually done, but we still need to do actual work, like bug fix. And then we will release it. Yeah, we just need to wait till the end of the week so we can get our result for release for the press there we go now we can release it all right looks like it's pretty good but it was expensive that's it that's pretty expensive for an add-on but sales are way up recently on the three kingdoms quest so i'm thinking we can make profit up b plus size games oh i probably should have already <laughs> researched that that was me being asleep at the wheel. Whoops. All right, so what type of game do we want to make now? Another racing game? I mean, it is the trend, right? And it's a trend for 47 more weeks. It is pretty saturated, though, but, I mean, almost everything is pretty saturated, right? It's kind of hard to avoid. As soon as Platformer is done, we're going to do a Platformer. Um, maybe a contract game, B plus contract game, puzzle. Oh, what works with puzzle? Puzzle, where are you at? Puzzle in my, in my guide. There you are. Skill and strategy work. So we'll go strategy, hopefully get a fifth star in strategy. We'll go candy and we will go singing. Just trying to get a star in those, right? Um, adults prefer puzzle games. Dungeon, of course. Just turn on English. All right, puzzle and strategy. Have I not done a puzzle and strategy before? I feel like I have, but if I did, wouldn't the settings be here? Puzzle skill, puzzle skill, puzzle skill. No, it looks like... Maybe I haven't. No, just puzzle skill. Okay. Well, then, I know I can make a puzzle strategy game at some point. We got puzzle and racing for some reason. <laughs> so puzzle and strategy. 7554. So not much movement there. 3169. A little more movement down here. Lots of mission design. Mission design very, very important. And 5, 2, 8. And then for puzzle, we want 50, 10, 10, 30. So we're actually going to go like 40. 
five, five, fifty. Because we got to get our technical points somehow, right? All right, here. Yeah. But we're going to turn on split screen multiplayer and save games because we want the stars. Um, it's for the mini vision, so we're going to need controller support, I believe. We need a 30%. All right, well, let's just turn this stuff on because it's relatively cheap. I just want to avoid worst game of the year, right? This should be enough. But if I can get a star in those, get a star in mini vision, get a star in um, this stuff, right? We got like six opportunities to get a star. So if I get a star in even two or three of those, I'm going to call that a win. And basically, I just want to keep my team busy, right, while the platformer research gets done. Basically, all this is. We're just going to put a little little tiny bit into it. Really, we're just going to be polishing. But this is probably not going to make me a lot of money, and that's okay. It's a contract game. Ooh, I'm going to need a bigger research team soon, clearly. Because they're still not even... They're only a quarter done of this platformer research, right? So let's go considerably bigger. Do like that. Five more desks. Our image there. Okay. Is there any researchers on the market? There is five researchers on the market. You're too expensive. So we'll just hire the cheap two. And then we will get you to search for some researchers. Uh, professionals, we don't care about gender. We will take either. All right, well, let's just hand over this game. I can't wait. I cannot afford to just polish this game indefinitely we need to do that oh i did get a bunch of those stars though i clicked through too fast but holy crap 66 percent. we weren't even i wasn't even trying to make that good <laughs> right like all right so platformer is gonna have to wait racing what goes with racing forget um racing where's racing Action, simulation, and sports. Go with racing. We don't have simulation or sports yet, but we can do an action racing game, which I assume I already have, right? Cyclemania is probably an action racing game. No, it's racing skill. Racing skill isn't a good combo, though. <laughs> um, so, you can do, I mean, I could do a spinoff. Right? I could do a spin-off. So we'll call this... We'll switch it to action. We'll call this what? What do we want to call this? Cyclomania. Um, no licenses. Is there any racing licenses? I'm trying to buy time while I think of a name. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell. Uh, we'll go with this one. It's nice and cheap. Um, Cyclomania... Drift. That conjures images of an action racing game, right? Pretty sure all works for that. Oh, wait. This engine isn't up to date, is it? Oh, no. Okay, so we got to update this engine. Update old engine on wheel engine. There we go. Got better physics, better sound. I'll stick with the Tapple 2. On wheel engine 1.09, nice high market dominance. This shouldn't take too long. Although I do have a lot of people doing absolutely nothing while this happens. And that's unfortunate. All right, so spin off. Cyclomania. Cyclomania drift. Switch this to action. Um, Peace hammer. I'm going to leave it at size B for now. I'm just going to see. On wheel engine. There we go. We got the new on wheel engine. You can see how many features fit. Do we need to make it bigger? All right. So racing and action. 6376. Six. So these are not quite right. They're close. They're not quite right. And 2395. Wait, that doesn't add up. 
six three seven six two three oh two three nine four i misread it seven two five okay and we will roll with this for the bottom sliders actually let's go like that okay so this is going to be a b plus size game for sure because 13 features fit like everything fits right i think this will be a good game though because at least we have stars in it right we're not we're not looking at zero stars in anything right which is good and these are the only two things we're not full in so this should be a pretty good game actually let's go let's go all out on this how much is this going to be over a million dollars to make probably probably gonna be over a million which will be fine i think <laughs> i hope we'll see we will see time will tell if this is a good idea or a terrible idea it might be a terrible idea Ooh, i like you you're expensive but i like you so we don't need a whole lot more researchers so let's end on mace we're at 11 to 12 there now well we got some cold folks so let's add a heater and i know like i could just let them freeze <laughs> Trying to be a good boss, though, whenever possible, right? All right, so Psychomania Drift. Yeah, it's going to it's gonna be expensive. Uh, you Speaking of expensive, you're too expensive, so we're going to pass on you. And you know what? That's going to do it for this episode. Let me know in the comments if you think Psychomania Drift will be profitable. Because, like I said, it's going to cost over a million dollars to make. But I think it'll be like a 90%-ish or better game, right? So it'll likely, it'll likely be profitable, <laughs> especially with the trend being racing, I feel. But let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the series, hit that like button. I apologize for not having an episode yesterday. Just realized I've been busy. Most importantly, folks, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.